Well, from London's punk rock scene in the 70s to the birth of hip-hop in New York City, renowned photographer Jeanette Beckman has captured revolutionary moments in music with her camera. Dana Arshin caught up with Beckman to talk about her career and new book showcasing 40 years of culture through her lens. 40 years of dedication. I think I took my first photo in 1977. It was Susie and the Banshees playing at the Roundhouse. 40 years of passion. I feel like my photography is always a collaboration between myself and the subject. 40 years of capturing unique snapshots in the art, music, and fashion worlds, all compiled now into this newly published book. It was an amazing process to just look at all this work and think that I photographed all these bands and all these people on the street and, you know, a gang in East L.A. in 1983. At her studio in NoHo, photographer Jeanette Beckman gives us a glimpse into her latest work called Rebels from Punk to Dior. The compilation showcases four decades of her photographs. It's a book about basically 40 years of my photography starting in the punk era in the UK, then I moved here in 1983 and captured, you know, the burgeoning hip hop culture. And then Jeanette's career took off. The London native is proud to call New York home. It's a city she believes provides the perfect backdrop for the inspiring people she captures in her photos from the everyday New Yorker to celebrities like LL Cool J, Sting and Debbie Harry. Every time I get on the subway, I'm looking at people and wondering who they are, and I'm fascinated by what they're wearing, you know, looking at people's faces and trying to figure out who they are. So I don't think you find that anywhere else in the world, to be honest. Jeanette's book sells for $75, and it's filled with hundreds of her photos. To purchase or learn more, head on over to fox5ny.com. In NoHo, Dana Arshin, Fox 5 News.